to explain for somebody that's never ever tried your wines about your style, what would you say? I would say that uh, they are fresh wines, Mediterranean wines, uh, and wines without nothing to, to hide. I think our wines are modern, light, with a reasonable quantity of alcohol, and very elegant. Mediterranean. Uh, we are a fully Mediterranean style wines. And all together, we have to work on that to get the terrain to the wines. And that's why we not put too much additives into the wine. We do sport spontaneous fermentation. We don't mark a lot of wood. So it pretends to be natural, fresh wines and with the presence of the, of the variety and the grape at the end to be mm -hmm. the protagonist. Tell me, how did it all started, this fantastic winery? Well, the, the present project started around 25 years ago. At that moment, the finca was uh, a traditional finca from Mallorca with traditional activities, but the new owners, very soon they realized that the finca needed to change. Uh, more updated and more sustainable, and more in the, in the line of the new approaches of the agriculture. And one of them was winemaking. Cana Chartel is the name of the finca, and this is the name we took for our wines. In fact, a Chartel was the main name of one of the families who had the finca for many years. Uh, there was in the finca a small traditional cement factory. And, uh, Thanks to that, I should say now, we had a big hole in the finca, in the mountain. We didn't know what to do with it. It was a very unpleasant place. It was something we were always discussing, what to do with it. And finally, uh, a good idea came to the table to build the winery inside the mountain. It's a fantastic building you have here, uh, the winery, uh, in this fantastic location. Yeah. Uh, but I've also seen some very spectacular production facilities that yeah. you have. Tell me more about that. Yeah, this is all we have to work uh, with the gravity, which is our main uh, characteristic in the cellar. We have many values in the finca, like ecological, like local varieties. But for sure, once we are in the cellar, the, the most um, characteristic thing is the gravity. So to work by gravity, you need to have a special building like this, uh, which we have thanks to the old quarry we had here. And then you need, for sure, a machinery like a crane to move the wine from different levels. Because gravity is not infinite, we have four flows. Uh, and I also see you got a fantastic barrel room here. Tell yeah. me about the barrel rooms that you have here. Yeah, this barrel room in the beginning was thought to build uh, different flats of barrels, of 225 barrels. But now, as you, as you saw, we have been adapted and included new formats of, uh, of barrels, not just barrels, but also amphors, fudres, which are them. So it's a matter to adapt somehow, not just to the market, but to the kind of wines we want to produce. As you know, there's a big discussion within the wine world today uh, about natural wines or raw wines or biodynamic wines and organic wines. What's your take on that? Well, here we have a, a very clear opinion on this because we are um, organic producers from the very beginning, just before the plants were planted. So this is something we, we are convinced on. It is not a marketing tool. It is because we think that, the, that we have to respect the the environment and, and it is the way we have to work. Rosa, I understand that you are focusing very much on the native grapes yes. that you can find here in Mallorca. Uh, tell me about the different native grapes that you have here on the island. Well, in general, the local varieties that we have uh, present grapes, a very big grapes in general. That means that now when we are using these grapes, we have to take in account that they are big grapes and also they are always grapes that are not so much colored 
with so much taste, then they are special grapes that you have to take care into the fields in a special way and also in the, in, at the moment to, to do the wines. The terroir that we can find here on Mallorca and the native grapes that you can find here on Mallorca, why do they fit so well together? Here, for example, in Cana Chartel, we are uh, on the face of the mountain that we see the sun just at the first moment in the morning. We have the, the sea just there. The influence of the sea on our fields is very clear. We have also the mountains behind us. Then um, we are under the Mediterranean climate, but also we are, our finca has a an, an special uh, condition to have the grapes that we have. Uh, Candax Artel is a very well-known brand here on the island, Mallorca. Uh, it got a fantastic range of uh, different wines. Tell me, where can I find you in the rest of the world outside Mallorca? Yeah, um, the, the range of wines from Canachartel are mainly focused on gastronomy. And you can find it in the center of Europe, in uh, many countries of the center of Europe, Germany, Switzerland, uh, Belgium, Netherlands, also in UK, in uh, Scandinavian countries like um, Denmark and um, Sweden. And also um, overseas in the United States, in South Korea and in Japan. The range you have, uh, is it price way also a range? Uh, yeah, and consumer price, uh, we have started uh, around 10 euros, um, 10 to 15 euros our entry wines, and then we are um, uh, going higher in price in, in, in our refined and uh, low productions and special editions wines. Tell me about you, you got a special range, Harry, your artistic range. Uh, can you tell me more about the concept of that? Yeah, the artist was a wine that we uh, started uh, to produce a few years ago. Um, it's a tribute to one of the most famous painters that uh, came from our location here in Poyenza. We are producing the wine in small quantities, just two, three thousand bottles, depends on the year. And every, every year we change the label, always using a picture, uh, an artwork from the, from the artist uh, called Dionis Ben Nassar. And this is um, a fully uh, selection of our best um, barrels. You got a, already had a fantastic range uh, of wines, uh, but I guess you got uh, something coming here. Yeah. <laughs> so if you look into the crystal ball, uh, what kind of wines uh, will we see in a couple of years? So uh, we are experimenting with ancient varieties which are not being used nowadays. And the uh, intention is to know these varieties, but I, at the same time to produce wine from them. And that's why we are now uh, experimenting. And the idea is to produce a collection wine, uh, having uh, a monovarietal uh, wine for each of them. The philosophy and the way to work, the structure, the conditions we have in Cana Charte, uh, the only goal we can, we can reach is to be positioning into the best wineries of the island. Now we are working very much with practical experiences in new wines, special wines, uh, mainly focused in local varieties. If you were to give an advice to a young person uh, that wants to become a winemaker like yourself, what would you say? I would say that he or she needs to have patience and love this world. It's not a job. It is a style of, a style of life. It's a, it's a passion. It's not a job. You must be a wine lover. If, not, if you don't believe in your product, if you don't really believe in what your team is doing, uh, you cannot succeed. I think our key word for that is respect. Uh, in our corks, there is a sentence which says, the best wine is made with respect. And respect should be understood in many senses. Respect with the environmental, sustainability, respect with the products, with the grape, with the wine, and respect with the people we are working in the team. Thank you.